Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Tuesday, February 22nd, 2022. So it's two, 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 two. It's all twos today. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Everybody's been posting that everywhere today and saying Tuesday. So it's all twos today. I'm in the car. I'm with just Holly and Amy. We're dropping Holly off at piano real quick. Her lesson's from 12 to 1230. So she's about to go in there. Um, we started on some schoolwork before we left. We're going to finish up whenever we get back home. It's a rainy day. So Josh is at home today. He's at home with all the other girls. And we're going to try to get some schoolwork done here in a little while. And the guy's coming back to finish painting our cabinets today. I think he's coming around 4, 4.30 again. He's going to finish that up. And then Josh can put the doors on. And our kitchen will be completed. I'm so excited about that. I'm cooking spaghetti for dinner tonight, which will be super easy to do. So spaghetti's for dinner tonight. She was at riding that front. So, you know, Holly, there's your teacher. You can go inside. Love you. Love put your jacket on. Okay. Have funny fun. Love you. All right, so we're back home and I'm having a little snack. I'm having some pineapple chunks with the Ritz crackers. One of my favorite snacks. It's so, so good together. to the bedroom to hang out the guy working on the cabinets will be here in about 15 minutes so I'm trying to set up a spot in here for her to sit and play and I'll probably bring the other little kids in here just so that they could be out of his way while he's working it shouldn't take too long he's only gonna be here like an hour today I think because it's just going back over the paint and Josh is the one gonna put the cabinets on hey what does mama have this crazy ball this ball is so cool I think I had this since I think this was either Natalie or Everly's ball, but it's one of those balls that um, you can like push all the way in like this. You can squeeze it. She had a smaller one like this, and it didn't have the rattle in the middle, and you can squeeze it all the way. You want your ball, or do you want your squeaky? You want your squeaky? <laughs> She's like, Mama, what is that? Yeah, I can't believe this girl is going to be seven months on the 28th of this month. Is that crazy or what? So earlier I thought about making some sourdough bread because I think my sourdough is ready to go ahead and make some bread with. I actually made some waffles a few nights ago with like my leftover, the part that I discard. I used um, some of that and made some homemade waffles and they were delicious. They were so good. All the kids and Josh loved them. So I was thinking about making bread today, but I didn't since he's coming um, today at three. I figured I would just wait until a day where nobody's coming in our kitchen to work. So I might do that tomorrow, actually. So Josh had a doctor's appointment today. I had to make him go to the doctor. Everyone is better from COVID, but like the side of his face has been hurting. I think it's like his sinus cavities. So the doctor wanted him to come in today between three and 3.30 and go ahead and be checked out and just check his sinus cavities, make sure there's no infection in there. Cause if he like moves his head a certain way, he could feel like the pressure relieve off of his face. But when he lays down at night, it's really bad at night when he lays down, I guess all of the drainage. So hopefully they could just get him an antibiotic today and get him started on that. Um, other than that, our whole family is better from COVID, which I'm very thankful. Cause I know that's not the case with everybody. So we are thankful to all be doing better set this little thing with Josh and hopefully an antibiotic will take care of all of that. Yeah. Like Millie's completely clear now. Her She sounds clear. No more runny nose. No more congestion. Like all of the kids are better. I'm better. Mm -hmm. I you, thought you were upstairs. You thought I was upstairs. I'm in here. You want a piece of cheese? Yeah. My kids. <laughs> my kids. My kids. They love cheese. They love bananas. Millie likes like, she said Millie looks like, ooh, I want that cheese. <laughs> she probably does want that cheese. Paw Patrol to the lookout. Ryder needs us. Alright, so it's after dinner time now. The kids are watching this little science show. When the older girls were little, we actually watched the show all the time. It's called um, DIY Sci, and he does all kinds of cool like science projects and stuff. Is this on Amazon? 
It's on Amazon. I remember watching this all the time and they just found it and now Natalie is like totally into it. It's a pretty cool show. And the guy has finished painting our cabinets. Josh just got home with our doors. He's gonna go ahead and put those on, I think, here in a few minutes. I'm so excited, so excited. Also, Josh's appointment went really well today, his doctor's appointment. They said that um, inside of his jaw is called sinusitis and they gave him an antibody for it pretty much. So no big deal there, thankfully. His lungs sound great, he sounds great. Oxygen's perfect, heart rate's perfect, all of that good stuff. So it was just sinusitis that has like built up in his um, like sinus cavity or something that's giving him the pain. So they just gave him an antibiotic. He got that filled, he started that tonight. So hopefully that's gonna kick it out and he'll be feeling much better um, soon. Good morning again everybody it's now the next day it's wednesday morning and i decided to make some homemade sourdough waffles this morning it come out of my new um cookbook so these are just cinnamon and sugar waffles and i'm just brushing them with some melted butter and playing around with my sourdough a few days ago and made some they were so good so i doubled the recipe today so that the whole family could have some for breakfast this morning o'clock now and we have left well me and the three oldest girls have left i've got to take kylie to violin but first we're stopping into dollar tree because emily has been asking me to go in here she has a friend spending the night friday night and she wants to get some face mask and um some candy for her little sleepover friday night so we're gonna run into the dollar tree well i'm pointing to um bath and body works dollar tree is over there we're gonna run dollar tree real quick and then take kylie to violin wait for her to come out Go back home, make sure everybody's ready to go to church. I think we're just gonna do sandwiches for dinner tonight because it's quick and easy before we have to leave. Um, I don't know if we'll eat those before or after, but we'll just get everybody ready and then head out. But first we're gonna go into the Dollar Tree and see what we can find in there. They've got all of their Easter stuff out. All of their little Eastery stuff. Oh, these are cute. Accounting book. They have lots of containers in here right now. These look pretty cool. They've got like the little top. Lots of options. Lots of options. Alright, so we are back home now. Before I start getting kids ready for church, I'm going to show you real quick what I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you our kitchen. Since our cabinets are completed now, everything's finished. Our kitchen is done. I'm so very thankful to have our kitchen done. So I'm going to show you what I got at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to show you how our kitchen turned out. So first of all, I got all of this. Y'all know that the Dollar Tree, everything used to be a dollar. It's went up to a dollar twenty-five now. So it's not technically a dollar for everything. It's a dollar twenty-five. Um, anyway, they have these little six-count uh, mini pretzels. So 
since we didn't have our Valentine's party at church, I have goodie bags for all the kids, and I'm gonna add some pretzels in those goodie bags for our kids at church. So that's what I got that for. I just picked this up for Josh because he loves Junior Mints, and these are the little eggs. So I got that for him. And Holly needed a three ring binder um, for piano. It's just to keep her piano notes in it. So I picked this up for her. And the next thing, I got these two. They only had two. So I got all of the girls like different little treats in there. Um, so I got these for Amy and Bethany. I just thought they were so cute. They're little journals. So I got that for them. Holly requested some lip gloss. So I saw this Hershey's flavor lip gloss in there and I thought she would love that. So I got that for her. Also got a pack of gum. And then the rest of this stuff is just lots of coloring books. That is like the perfect place to find activity books and coloring books. This is an addition learning workbook um, for grade one. So I actually got this for Amy. I thought this would be get some good math practice for her. So I got that for her. And then this little fun pad. I thought this would be fun for Holly. It's got tic-tac-toe and, you know, just dot to dot and things like that. So I got her that little fun activity pad. This alphabet. Look at the cute little horse. ABC book. I got this for Bethany to practice her ABCs and all that is is just writing literally your letters through here. So I got that for her. She's my kindergartner. And then I got everybody one of these sticker Facebooks. They love, love putting stickers on the faces. I think the stickers are at the back of the book. Yeah, there they are. So they can just decorate stickers on their little animals. So I got everybody one of those, all the little kids. And then I got them a coloring book. So this is just a Frozen one, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, and then this little ballerina. And that is what I got from the Dollar Tree. And Emily's also got her stuff, but she already took all of her little goodies down to the basement. So I'm gonna give the girls their little treats and start getting everybody ready for church. <laughs> 